Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves and today is going to be a fun shave. I'm going to be testing out a new piece of equipment, one that I featured on the last unboxing. So I'm excited for that. Hope you guys are doing well, having some great shaves. Um, my weekend was pretty busy, but I am back. Um, yeah, just ready to enjoy a uh, comfortable shave, hopefully. Uh, on for the growth, I'm running off of a bit less than two days of growth, maybe like 36 hours or something like that, one and a half days. Um, should be a good amount to mow right down. I did go for a BBS shave a couple or a couple days ago, and I got really close, but also irritated my skin quite a bit. But uh, today I'm just gonna go, be going for a clean shave. Um, somewhat of a BBS, doesn't have to be. Um, but yeah, let's get it going. As for the software today, because I'm gonna be testing a hardware, going with some uh, consistent products. This is the Sterling Sheep. It's got that mutton tallow, a little bit of that um, tallow scent to it. A bit, a little bit animalic, but not too bad. It's uh, mostly unscented soap. Got a lather using my Sawdust Creation uh, Paduk wood brush, and it's quite hydrated, so it'll lather well. All right, let me wet the face and get it going. All right, going with no pre-shave today. Just going straight to the wort and lather. Let's get that lather going. <clears throat> mm. As you can see, put a lot of water into this lather, but once I splay it, it's gonna look creamy and nice. All right, feeling very silky on the face. Looking pretty decent. All right, looks well hydrated, just how I like it. Just clean up the lather here real quick. Sterling creates quite a bit of volume once you spray the brush. Um, yeah, look at that, that's like almost dripping lather but not quite there. All right, so as for the new hardware featuring today, this is gonna be the stainless steel above the tie Windsor Pro razor. This has the SB90 plate on it. It's got a nice uh, polish on the bottom and the cap. Um, the underside uh, surface, surfaces are not polished, but uh, you can't really tell from this ink these angles. It's got the Kronos handle to it. This handle is um, doesn't have the best knurling. I would say it's a little bit more on the slippery side, so uh, I, I am a little concerned. Uh, and it's quite heavy as well. It's got a good heft to it, but I'm wondering if they, the heavy weight uh, is going to interfere with the shave or will, if, if that's gonna add to the stability of the shave. I'm not sure, but Let's see how it goes. I got it paired with a first use of the Nasset Gillette Nasset blade. So I'm excited to try this out. Pretty good even exposure on both sides for my eyes. Blade tabs are covered. And yeah, feels like a solid razor. Let's see how it shaves. I do like that flat head profile of the razor. So I think I'm gonna like it. But here we go, first pass through with the grain. <clears throat> yeah, this is has a lot of weight to it. I could, I could kind of tell. Uh, 
All right, interesting. So it has a bit less blade fill than what I expected. But it does remind me of the Game Changer 0.84 blade gap. Very easy cutting razor. Let's go through the entire first pass. Alright, not bad. I've got a bit of lather in my mouth, so let's rinse it off. Alright, let's rinse off and check it out. Alright. I would say that's about medium efficiency for a first pass. Definitely plenty to take off, but yeah. I'd say it's the most efficient so far, but uh, let's see how it goes. Going on to second pass. So paying that on. Nice and well hydrated lather here. All right. Second pass through, cross the grain. <clears throat> Alright. Definitely reminds me of Game Changer. But slightly different feel. I mean, I am looking for something similar to the game changer, but a little bit more efficient. So this might be close to what I'm looking for. I do like the flapper head design. All right, pretty good so far. Definitely a comfortable razor to shave with. I've heard that some people think this razor is a little too aggressive for them. Uh, for me, this is very comfortable. It doesn't I feel like it's gonna bite me anytime. And uh, yeah, good, good second pass. Still have a little bit left, so let's go for a couple cleanups here. So far, very comfortable. Feeling smooth. It's about a medium efficiency. Maybe a little higher than medium, but let's see how it goes against the grain. Here we go. First clean up pass.
Yeah, this is not very blade forward. I would say it feels like um, the base plate's a little, little more el elongated and it's covering the blade pretty well. Right, very comfortable against the green, which is a good sign. But it also means that it's not as efficient. I feel like as you edge towards the higher efficiency, it starts to tug a little more against the grain because of how much blade uh, exposure and blade gap it has. But yeah, good results so far. Last clean up pass. Plenty of lather to work with. Nice and well hydrated. All right, so let's go with that. Let's go across the grain first on the neck. All right, neck is pretty smooth, liking it. All right, and the chin. A right, little bit of buffing here and there, but yeah, pretty good. All right, I'm not chasing after a BBS. I did buff a little bit more, but so far the result is pretty good. Let me rinse up here. And see how it went. All right, let me check the corners of the moon. Yeah, that could it could use some work. So, really quick touch up. All right. Good stuff. Rinse it one more time. All right, the corners are good. Let's fill up the neck. Neck is very smooth. We against the grain. There might be a straggler here and there. A little bit here, a little bit there, but I'm not chasing it today. On the chin, after two cleanup passes, it's very slight on the triple spots. But other than that, it's very close. All right. Ooh, that's a fairly good result. Um, this feels very comfortable to me, similar to the Game Changer 8.4 and maybe Rockwell on uh, plate 5 or 6. Um, doesn't have too much blade feel. I would say just a, it's just the right amount. Um, I would say medium blade feel for me. Maybe slightly higher than that. 
good efficiency. Well, without the buffing too much, I got to a pretty close, pretty close to BBS, yeah. Closer than a DFS, not quite a BBS, but if I did a, maybe one more cleanup pass, I think I could get to a BBS, but yeah. No nicks, weepers or creepers, just a nice clean and close shave. So I am enjoying this razor so far. I think this might be a potential daily driver for me um, if I were to pursue after one, but um, yeah, very nice result. Uh, one thing I didn't mention earlier, the handle is a bit slippery, but uh, I didn't interfere during the shave. I was able to grip it pretty well throughout. It's quite hefty, the stainless steel version, but I also have the aluminum version, so I'm going to compare it to it. I do like the lightness and how nimble the aluminum feels, but also the uh, extra weight to the stainless steel helps with the stability of the shave. So yeah, good results today. I am pretty happy with um, yeah purchasing this razor and I'm uh, excited to try out other versions of it. All right, let's go over the products really quick. Went with the Sterling Sheep, excellent lather, super creamy, slick, lathered with the Sawdust Creation Paduk brush, shaved with the Above the Tie Windsor Pro stainless steel with the SB90 plate <laughs> and paired with Nasset blade on its first use. Excellent result, and I forgot to do the alum, so man, I'm in. I, I keep on forgetting the alum for some reason. I think just talking about the razor got me a little more excited than the usual. Yep, not bad. Light sting all over, a little bit on the neck. So light sting all across the skin, which is a pretty good sign. I don't have to make any faces today, so I would call that a success. And I am, this is a, judging from today's shave, this is a, it's a high possibility that this can be a daily driver for me. Just a simple shave. Um, I'll have to try out tomorrow on a one day of growth and see how that feels. Um, if I can still go through this um, two pass and two cleanups, or if I have to kind of pause before that because my skin uh, might be getting irritated. But thank you guys for watching. I really enjoyed um, today's shape with this new razor. I hope to bring you guys more of these shaves and possibly comparisons. Um, as I said before, like the this and the Game Changer, Rockwell. Um, what else is there that is similar to the efficiency? Hmm, I think those are really, really it. Compared to the Sterling ST plate, this one definitely, it feels milder. Um, probably less efficient, but um, pretty close to it. So I might compare it to the Sterling one. Compared to the Carve, this one definitely has more blade feel and more efficiency, but a lot more comfort, this one. But anyways, I'll leave you guys at that. Thank you guys for watching. This is Tim Shaves and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.